Hello and welcome back to Risk of Rain. Um, time we do another run through here. We're going to try the bandit. Uh, I've never used the bandit before, so this could be a disaster. But uh, the bandit fires blast faster if you press faster. Use a smoke bomb to use smoke bomb to either run away or to stun many enemies at once. Followed by dynamite toss, dealing a killing blow with lights out allows you to chain many skills together, allowing for maximum damage and safety. So let's have a look at how he plays. Uh, right. Oh, and we're starting off. Okay. Uh, interesting. We started off right here, so uh, please take me to twenty-five there. Ah, oh, nah. Right there we are. I'm going to buy this because. I remember this one from the PC one. It's quite useful. Let's head down and into the level and uh, see what layout we've got here. We've also started up in the top right of the level. That seems to stun them quite well. Oh right, so if I tap the trigger button there, I can fire a lot faster, so that could be useful. Although well, he doesn't seem to have any dodge moves or defensive moves, maybe the smoke bomb will come in handy in groups of, groups of enemies. There we are. So let's see, oops. Move quicker with a smoke bomb as well, it seems like. And that stuns them. Right, that's handy. Right, I'm going to go back and try and get the shrine and kill the imps. And uh, see what item we get there. That'll be... And getting gold over time, that's always helpful. Obviously the jellyfish can't be staggered or knocked back. So, uh, get me a sip of coffee there. I'm absolutely choked with the cold, as you can probably hear in my voice, but uh, I'm going to let that stop me. Enjoying some gaming. And let's get an item up here. So, I think we're going to go for this one. Looks like healing. Delayed heal after being hit. Right. Still not seen the teleporter yet. It's not down there. Ah, there we are. So I'm going to just go for it. it might be the Colossus. It is going to be the Colossus. Man, a yellow one already. Oh dear. Ah right, so that makes me... Does that make me invulnerable for a while? Might do, actually. That's a great item, that circular saw. There we go, excellent. Taking out the boss. How do you get out of here? Just keep him at bay with the shooting. That's going to get sore on the old finger after tapping that many times.
Right. Uh, oh, and we can go. Right, okay, we'll just head. Completed a stage in under five minutes. Sky Meadow. Oh, this is probably my least favourite of the biomes uh, that I've seen so far, anyway. I mean, I like the atmosphere and I like the music and everything, but the enemies in this one seem to really struggle with. So I think, I've forgotten already, but I think uh, if you stun them and then use that headshot uh, ability, it does, was it 600% extra damage? Mustn't grumble at that. So atmospheric, the music's so great in this level. It's, well, as I said before, it's, it's great in every level, this game. The music is phenomenal. It's one of the highlights of the game, I would say. Apart from it being pretty awesome. Game bit, oh man. Maybe, but fuck it. Ooh, reduce incoming damage by 14%. I'll take that. You get a teddy bear and bind the Isaac as well. I might do a bunch of uh, roguelike playthroughs, um, you know, because every, every time, every run's different, every sort of level setup is different. up there and round. It's these wee bastards I hate. Right, let's see if I can jump over here and get across, yes. And then we can maybe go up to the top here, there we are. There's a lot more jellyfish in this level. It's not that way because I can't get down there, so I better keep just exploring up here, see if I can find the oh, flame guy. Hmm. Oh, he's got a double jump. Do I fall down there? Oh, there we are. Right, it's going to be a mag magma worm. It is going to be the magma worm. Ugh. Ugh. It's difficult. Magma worm can be very tricky. It's, it's uh, attacks kind of home on, uh, home in on you a little bit. Oh! Come on, heal a bit, heal a bit. Oh dear. Run for your lives! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <sighs> this is looking so good. Away for a wee bit, yes. I'm 
to... Ah, shite. This, isn't, this run isn't going too well. Ah, yeah, that was really difficult. I'm not very used to that character. Well, uh, I think we'll maybe try one with the Enforcer, so let's go back and try that. Okay, so we're starting on the Dried Lake with the Enforcer this time. His range is pretty terrible and his fire rate is pretty terrible but he has that, he can hit them back, he has the riot shield which is good and he obviously has his uh, grenade launcher as well. So I always get the buttons mixed up when I change between characters though. And if you have your right shield down, you attack faster with the shotgun, so that's always useful. Especially if you've got your back against the wall. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Let's get open these open. Let's see what's in there. I'll keep going along here. I'm not going to get that yet. Let's uh, try a random item. Chance to knock enemies backwards. Even these guys? Don't know if they can be knocked back at all. Uh, regardless of your abilities. Oh, something for the channel as well is that uh, myself and Dan will be doing kind of a look at uh, some of... The Doom and Quake series and the run up to the release of Doom. Um, Dan's going to be doing Doom, so Doom 1, Doom 2, Doom 3, and I will be doing the Quake games. Uh, I don't know what format the videos will be in, they could just be like almost like a quick look, but like a, a wee look back almost. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. I just bought the Quake collection. And uh, yeah, I've kind of dabbled with Quake now and again. Um, I had Quake 1 and 2 on the N64, but they are different games and probably quite inferior to the PC ones. Never had Quake 3. I have played Quake 3. Oh, mines. Oh, nice. That's a new item. That's pretty handy. I like that. Very good. Um, so Dan has got the Doom collection. He will be dabbling in those. He says he's played the first one uh, the other day there and it still holds up tremendously well. So that's only a good thing. usually prefer doing live commentaries as opposed to reviews as such. Uh, I think there's probably been plenty of reviews done of, of Doom, but yeah, we just thought we'd do like a couple of weeks of, of id games, uh, or id, I call them id. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to that and hope other folk are as well. Quite revolutionary those games, uh, especially Doom. But Quake and the multiplayer arena scene. I mean that that that's Quake Three Arena is still uh, played regularly to these days. I mean there's no problem finding games online on the PC. Um, oh, gonna have to itch my ear. 
Oh, that was driving me insane. Anyway, <laughs> let's uh, activate this teleporter. And we have the Colossus, right? Oh, I like those mines. Oh, and we have a new logbook. Excellent. That was pretty straightforward. And what item did we get here? Increased health, health regeneration, and armor. Fantastic. Oh, those mines are absolutely brilliant. I think they're my new, favourite new use item. Even more than like the rocket pods. The enforcer is just a. Uh, if you know how to use them, which I'm not saying I do, I don't, but he is a force to be reckoned with. And he can really wreck, wreck folk. Oh, see you later, guys. Excellent. Right, some more left. Oh. Yes, the missile pod, I think it just... It's a random chance that you'll fire missiles when you're killing enemies. Excellent, there we go. Right, on to the next level. And Sky Meadow again. Feel the sprites. Ah... God damn it. <laughs> Do always struggle with this. Whoa. Right, let's just head down and across because we're at the very left of the map. Well, at least the enforcer can block these with bastards. Let's take it behind you. Oh, and yes, they drop little chunks of meat that'll heal you now as well. Stops time, and I can't get any of them. That was overkill, but hey ho. Right. How much were those other ones down there? 82, was it? Could probably get them alright. 81, excellent. Do that. Yes. Always love getting that. Oh, right. That'll stack though, probably, so it probably means they'll drop more chunks of health. Is good. I'll just walk through here, mate. There you go. <laughs> and we have a health container. Oh, what's down here? Let's have a look. What's that? 
No, I like the mines, sorry. Yeah, oh, that's just so satisfying. That's amazing. Love that item. So if the teleporter isn't down here, then it's... Which it is. <laughs> so we're good. I may wait actually until my mines have recharged before before activating this. There we go, that'll do. Magma worm. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like it. Am I going to be stuck there? Oh, fuck. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Oh, shit. Well, oh, maybe you're invincible on the ladders or going up and down. I'm not entirely sure, but... I suppose it would make sense. Nice. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, that was careless. I should have put the mines down there. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh well, that was uh, another couple of runs on Risk of Rain. We're, we're getting slightly better. Um, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers for watching.